name is Jordan Leroy Hansen, also known as Ledev. And on this iteration of Design Around the Guild, I decided to go to the green-black shenanigans of Gagari. Now for this deck, I decided to go into the realm. There were two ways you could kind of approach this type of deck. You can either approach it by going through kind of this zombie route, or you can go through it through kind of like a sacrificial aristocratic kind of like fungal route currently with the sand of cards. And I decided to stick more around with zombies because the graveyard interactions are a lot more fun. You could do kind of a weird hodgepodge of both of them, but I decided to stick to zombies because I figured it would a lot be more, be more consistent. In the one drops, we have Stitches Supplier, the one that I always forget the name of when I talk about it in the reviews, but one mana, one one from the core set 19, it's a zombie, and when it enters or dies, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. So essentially we use this to help fill our graveyard. We use Fatal Push for removal, and Blossoming Defense to practice stuff. Now with stuff in the graveyard, we can take advantage of it, such as with Graveyard Martial, we can exile a card if we don't want to cast it or return it from the graveyard to create a tap 2-2 black zombie creature token. I put the Merfolk Branch Walker in here, just put some green in here, and also to work as a 2-drop variation of this. If we need to put stuff in the graveyard, we can. Rapid Bite, more removal. Death Baron is a zombie lord, really good, gets plus zombies, get plus one, plus one, and death touch in our deck. Izzeref, while it technically doesn't bring back stuff as zombies, it does have a way to bring stuff back when we need to bring them back and we don't have any other methods, so it's another re way to get stuff from our graveyard. Murder, as I said, more removal. I put one we collect in here just in case if our non-creature cards get into the graveyard if there's any that's very useful which you'll see later on the deck tech. Whisper Blood Liturgist, it's another way to essentially if we can sack some creatures such as Stitcher Suppliers or maybe even a zombie token, we can sack it, return a powerful creature like Izareth or even Joseph Vetch the Lich King which is a zombie knight, very beneficial for our deck especially if we can give it plus one plus one in death touch thanks to Death Baron. I put Path of Discovery in here because it puts counters on our creatures and also it lets us draw lands or even put more stuff in the graveyard. Liliana's Death Majesty, create zombies, return stuff as zombies, and also destroy all non-zombie creatures. Open the grave as a one-of just to create more zombies. Mini Dominaria to put more stuff in our graveyard and get lands. And since we have the queen herself of the new Gagari clan, well, not new, but you know what I mean, the new queen of Gagari, Vraska, Relic Seeker, which is the Vraska we can play currently in the standard. I've been having fun with this deck so far, so let's give it a shot, shall we? Okie dokie, we go to there. We go to there, and we will do a quick play. I'll play two quick matches of this deck because I kind of have to cut this video short so I can go straight to the spoiler review for day four, I think it is, of the sets of the cards that have been revealed. And there are actually some pretty good ones, so I can't wait to get to those. But for now, we'll focus on what we can play with at the moment in this current standard. So let's see. Actually, perfect hand. We're keeping it. We have a turn one play. We have a death baron. We have a way to remove stuff if it's an early game creature. Branch Walker, and just even free lands that are in our colors, so we are keeping this hand. We play a Swamp, we feed our Graveyard. Let's see what's in the Graveyard, so there we go, perfect. I was considering putting a Crucible Worlds in here just for testing purposes, but I kind of thought first stick to just the whole just bringing creatures back rather than lands at the current moment. That could be problematic, but I think I can solve that with just next turn with a Rapid Bite. Hey, land. Nice. We're not going to attack in. So, he's green something. Green-white. This should be... Uh-oh. So, green-white tokens from the looks of it. This could be problematic. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just put this in as tap since the only thing we're doing now is rapid fight. Target creature you control. Target creature you don't control. There's a chance he has blossoming defense, but let's just fish it out of his hand if he has it. Yep. 
should presume they never have it. Or should presume that they always have it. But we're still good. We have stuff to play for that. Okay, I guess he's playing a Johnny in this deck. Okay. Okay, do we have anything we want to return? Death Baron wouldn't hurt. Promise does he have fight spells in his deck? I think what I want to do is get the this iteration of the Death Baron out. Okay, that's annoying. Threat. Don't mind putting stuff in our graveyard, so we can just do that trade without a sweat. Well, on the bright side, at least it's for Maddox. Gagari versus Selesnia. Uh -oh. Okay. Not the end of the world, because all we have to do. And say bye bye to that. Bye bye. But he does now have a way to make consistent 1-1 one -one tokens, so we got to keep that in mind. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hmm. We could return a Death Baron. We could return Graveyard Marshal, which could be argued as a good idea. Graveyard Marshal is the key here. So we take back the Graveyard Marshal. If he decides to block, I would be surprised. Okay. Exile Branch Walker, create a zombie token. Together we are unstoppable. I'm guessing he's returning an Ovia or a Johnny. We still need you. Huh. Well, time for my little trick in the deck. We could just attack in just for the sake of it. Is that ever a good idea? There's an argument for it, there's an argument against it. I think I just need to attack into his Johnny and force a trade. Because he's tapped down. There we go. Sits for now. Because the plan is, well, we feed the graveyard and we accidentally got our recollection engine. This is going to be a little bit peculiar. Oof. Okay. On the bright side, at least I got my lands out of the way. Are you finished?
Okay, so Nissa minus six is whenever land enters the battlefield, draw a card. You might just plus one or return. No, but I'm refreshing. I should have probably put Nissa in this deck since Nature. returning target permanent to your hand is actually pretty nice. Okay, mental note on that one. Mental note. Let's bring back a Death Baron, shall we? Mm, sure, why not the graveyard? And now the best part is, both instances, my creatures have Death Touch, so other than is Well, actually, even Israel has Death Touch, so... Very well. Do I not underestimate my fortitude! Yeah, I guess Path of Discovery is bye-bye. Nine mana, which we can do next turn. But we'll just return our Death Baron. That seems to be the plan. One, two, three. One, two. Three. And Death Baron, come back. Oh, this is great. <laughs> huh. We shall end the turn. Seem to forget one little thing. Rise, rise, rise. I totally did my math wrong. Okay, plan B. Oh, it's you. Hmm. Green black is left. I will win by any means necessary. Okay, so we got one cleansing nova out of his hand. So he plays the Planeswalker deck, good Johnny. 
Sheesh, it seems like I am going through Selesnia, shenanigans, Selesnia, shenanigans. Ugh. Kind of fitting since what was last week's deck thing. Kind of fit. Okay. Well, we plus this. See if there's some any more <laughs> engaging Another target. Another minion never hurts. Actually, yeah, a minute. Got an idea. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, we definitely still gonna do free. We pay the cost. We bring back. Okay, I was not thinking there. I forgot. Corpse counters means that they get removed. So, wait, why did I choose the one that was not attacking? Okay, that was a misplay, but... Oi, that was a legitimate misplay there. Okay, so yeah, he chooses now the big boy, Johnny. Probably going to try to reveal cards so he gets a creature. Gets a creature in his hand. There we go. Okay, first things first. We should probably get rid of this. We will decline on bringing something back to life. Okay, first things first. Now, rise, rise, rise! Think of it as Okay. Does he have another board clear? If he doesn't, I'm pretty sure I got this game. Phew. Annoying, but not really matters in the grand scheme of things. It's, so uh, that is 16 damage. 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, that is legitimately lethal, so... All we have to do is just say, attack with the whole team. He doesn't have an Johnny's aid this time. Go decline that action. He blocks one of those, so we're just gonna say, buff one of those, and boy, the Gagari. Well, inevitable. Death is inevitable, so the death of the opponent is at nine. Doop, doop, doop. Woo. Okay, that was legitimately kind of nuts. <laughs> Boy, that was crazy. Phew. 
Okay. I do need to go and make that video for the spoilers, and that was a long match, but I think it kind of was fun thematically with the Guild Wars shenanigans, so I hope you enjoyed the Gagari shenanigans. Just one last time, here's the deck. If you have any ways you want to edit it, you can edit it and try it out in MTG Arena. Overall, hope you enjoyed the Gagari bringing back to the inevitable life and death cycle. Hope you all have a lovely day. This is Lev Dev, signing out.